An eagerly anticipated celestial spectacle is on the horizon, and if you're residing in North America, it's an event you absolutely shouldn't overlook. Come April 8th, a mesmerizing total solar eclipse will sweep across the continent, marking the second in a series of four eclipses slated for 2024. The path of totality, where the moon entirely obscures the sun, will gracefully traverse North America, commencing from Mexico and journeying through the United States up into Canada. With a maximum totality duration of approximately 4 minutes and 28 seconds, this exceeds the spectacle of the 2017 Great American Eclipse by twice the duration. While fortunate viewers in 15 American states will be treated to the full splendor of totality, those in all 48 contiguous states will have the chance to witness a partial eclipse, a rare occurrence until the next opportunity arises in 2045. Adding to the excitement, there's a remarkable celestial guest expected to make an appearance during this eclipse. Comet 12P Pons Brooks, also known as the Devil Comet, will be making its close approach to the Sun on April 8th. Should the comet's luminosity intensify in the days leading up to the eclipse, spectators will be presented with a once-in-a-lifetime chance to witness a comet while the Sun is completely obscured by the Moon during daylight hours. Furthermore, avid sky watchers can anticipate the appearance of the brightest planets in the sky during the total phase of the eclipse. As April 8th approaches, with all eyes turning heavenward to behold the celestial ballet unfolding above, it's worth noting five unforgettable experiences awaiting you during a total solar eclipse. So, be sure to stick around till the end of the video to discover these remarkable phenomena. The upcoming solar eclipse is set to deliver a mesmerizing display of light in the sky. However, your celestial adventure doesn't have to end there. A total solar eclipse unfolds in five distinct stages. First contact, second contact, totality, third contact, and fourth contact. First contact signifies the outset of the partial phase of the eclipse. It's when the Moon's initial visible encroachment on the Sun's disk occurs from the observer's standpoint. Though the eclipse officially commences at this juncture, the Sun's obstruction is slight making it potentially imperceptible without appropriate solar viewing gear. Remember to don your eclipse glasses or utilize solar filters to safely observe the gradual coverage of the sun's disk during the partial eclipse phase. Scheduled to commence at 11.43 EDT or 15.43 GMT, the solar eclipse will manifest as a partial eclipse visible across all 48 contiguous US states. The Solar Eclipse Timer app can provide precise timings for each phase of the eclipse based on your location. Between first contact and the onset of totality, you'll witness a fascinating array of transformations in the surroundings and the sun and sky's appearance. As the moon progresses in obscuring the sun post first contact, a noticeable reduction in daylight brightness ensues. The dimming of light unfolds gradually and subtly at the outset, gaining prominence as totality draws near. The light's quality becomes crisper, accentuating contrasts and fostering an eerie ambience. Shadows sharpen and the sky's hue gradually transforms, transitioning from the vibrant blue of daytime to a darkening shade well before totality descends. An intriguing phenomenon occurs with shadows during the partial phase of the eclipse. Objects such as tree leaves or colanders, employed for eclipse viewing, cast crescent-shaped shadows onto the ground. This phenomenon arises from the gaps between leaves or the colander's perforations acting akin to pinhole cameras, each projecting a partial image of the obscured sun. Approximately 10 minutes preceding totality, the sun assumes a slender crescent shape. This crescent progressively thins and sharpens as totality approaches, serving as a visual countdown to complete coverage. In the moments preceding totality, you'll notice two remarkable occurrences. Firstly, there's a drop in temperature. This temperature dip is among the eclipse's most tangible effects, physically felt by observers within the totality path. As the moon gradually obscures more of the sun, the amount of solar energy reaching the Earth diminishes, resulting in a noticeable temperature decline. 
While the extent of this drop may vary based on geographical location, time of year, and local weather conditions, reductions of 5 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit are typically observed. The second phenomenon to note is the change in animal behavior. The imminent totality of a solar eclipse affects wildlife as well, causing many creatures to exhibit behaviors typical of dusk or nightfall. As the surroundings darken and cool, animals may become disoriented, mistaking the dimming light for twilight. Birds, for instance, may start to settle down while some return to their nests. Nocturnal insects like crickets and mosquitoes might become more active, believing that night has fallen. However, it's important to keep your eclipse glasses on. In the final moments leading up to totality, some truly fascinating events unfold. Observers are treated to two remarkable and eagerly awaited phenomena. The first is known as Bailey's beads. Named after Francis Bailey, who first elucidated the phenomenon in 1836, Bailey's beads occurred just before and after totality. As the moon gradually covers the sun entirely, irregularities along the moon's edge, such as mountains, valleys and craters, permit sunlight to peek through in some areas, but not in others. This creates a string of bright spots along the lunar profile, resembling a series of beads against the darkening sky. However, these beads are fleeting. They swiftly diminish as the moon continues its trajectory across the sun, culminating in the moment of totality. The second noteworthy occurrence is the diamond ring effect, which occurs immediately following the disappearance of Bailey's beads, signaling the last few moments before totality. This phenomenon unfolds when only one radiant bead of sunlight remains, casting a brilliant glow against the backdrop of the moon's coverage of the sun. The stark contrast between this luminous bead and the surrounding ring of the sun's corona, now becoming visible, resembles the appearance of a diamond ring. The diamond shines with remarkable brilliance, while the ring signifies the corona's radiant glow, heralding the onset of the eclipse's most breathtaking phase, totality. Totality signifies the moment when the moon entirely obscures the sun, visible only within a narrow strip on Earth's surface. During this fleeting period, daylight transitions into an eerie twilight, unveiling solar features typically concealed from view. It's the sole phase of the eclipse where direct viewing without protective eyewear is safe, as the moon fully blocks the sun's bright photosphere. However, it's essential to have your Eclipse Timer app at the ready to ensure you put on your Eclipse glasses before the moon progresses across the sun's disk and Bailey's beads reappear on the opposite side. One of the most captivating sights during totality is the sun's corona, its outer atmosphere resembling a pearly white crown with radiant streamers stretching outward. Remarkably, the corona registers millions of degrees hotter than the sun's surface, and it's solely during totality that it becomes visible to the naked eye. Throughout the other stages of the eclipse, it's imperative to wear your eclipse glasses. Look out for reddish and pinkish filaments or loops extending from the sun's surface. These are prominences composed of cooler, denser plasma than their surroundings. As they typically endure for about a day or two, each prominence observed is truly unique to that particular moment. Another extraordinary facet of totality is the emergence of 360-degree twilight, manifesting as a soft glow along the horizon in all directions. This twilight effect arises from the moon's shadow, obstructing the sun's light within the path of totality while areas beyond this path remain illuminated, producing a circular sunset-like phenomenon around the observer. The duration of totality varies depending on your location. The closer you are to the eclipse's central line, the longer you'll experience its complete phase. According to GreatAmericanEclipse.com, the eclipse will make landfall at Isla Socorro, approximately 600 kilometers from the Mexican mainland. Its first contact with the mainland occurs near Mazatlan, Mexico. In the United States, the path of totality commences from Texas, traversing through major cities such as San Antonio, Austin, Dallas, and Fort Worth. Texas is expected to attract numerous eclipse enthusiasts owing to its favorable weather conditions and extensive highway network, 
which are crucial for any last-minute adjustments to areas with clear skies. During its journey, Totality will pass through Hot Springs and Little Rock in Arkansas. Carbondale, Illinois, will experience its second total solar eclipse only seven years after the 2017 event. In the Midwest, significant cities along the path of totality include Indianapolis, Dayton, Toledo, Cleveland, and Akron. Metropolitan areas near the path encompass St. Louis, Cincinnati, Detroit, and Pittsburgh. Moving to the Northeast, Niagara Falls emerges as a favored destination for many eclipse enthusiasts. Other cities within the eclipse's path comprise Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse, and Burlington. The path of totality extends through the provinces of Ontario and Quebec before reaching the maritime provinces of New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, and Labrador. According to time, andate.com, approximately 652 million individuals, accounting for 8.19% of the world's population, will witness the eclipse, with roughly 44 million within the path of totality. As the sky darkens during the total solar eclipse, be sure to watch for stars and planets that become visible during this brief window. Jupiter will gleam brightly to the left of the Sun, with Venus appearing to the right. Toward the horizon, you might glimpse Saturn and Mars situated near each other, although their fainter presence may pose a challenge compared to the brilliance of Jupiter and Venus. Besides the usual array of stars and planets, there's a special celestial visitor that may make an appearance during totality, Comet 12P Pons Brooks, also known as the Devil Comet. This approaching comet twice the size of Mount Everest is expected to become visible in the spring of 2024. Discovered in 1812, it completes an orbit around the Sun approximately every 71.2 years. While the latter half of April isn't the optimal time to spot the comet in the evening sky, it might come into view when the Moon fully obscures the solar disk on April 8th. If it shines brightly enough, you'll likely see it positioned between Jupiter and the Sun though closer to Jupiter. Stay tuned for a detailed video on how to spot Comet 12P Ponsbrooks in the upcoming weeks. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for timely notifications. Following totality, the event progresses to the third contact, marking the moment when the Moon begins to recede from the Sun's disk, revealing the bright photosphere once more. The returning sunlight obscures the corona and any visible chromosphere or prominences. As the environment brightens and temperatures return to normal, diurnal animal activities resume. The diamond ring effect might reappear at this stage, occurring just after the last glimpse of the corona, signifying the conclusion of the eclipse's most dramatic phase. Finally, the fourth contact denotes the eclipse's conclusion, when the Moon's shadow completely departs from the Sun's disk, leaving no part of the Moon obstructing the Sun. The sudden return of daylight after this fleeting journey from day to night and back again feels almost surreal. It leaves an indelible impression, serving as a delicate reminder of the fragile beauty of our existence in the vast cosmos. So, enjoy watching the eclipse and remember to check back for updates.